massive amount of crime in the historic neighborhood, the northeast section of Kansas City. It might soon go away. In just the past three weeks, 118 crimes reported in this section. This is specifically the area around St. John and Topping Avenue, if you're familiar with northeast. Now police are doing something that they have never done before. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield gives us a sneak peek on how they plan to get criminals there off the streets. Every other week or so, I hear gunshots. At 19 years old, Phil Perkins has become accustomed to crime in his northeast neighborhood. Uh, peaceful during the day, but nighttime is when more people get to acting wild and don't know how to control themselves. For years, that's what Kansas City police have tried to stop. But now, the department is equipped with $700,000 more dollars and a new program to pinpoint where the city's most dangerous criminals are through its first ever micro hotspot. It's using science to fight crime. Uh, it's a different way of doing the same thing we've done for a long time. And here's how it works. Police will use information from police reports to draw a digital map. Each one of these dots is a person. That's a lot of information. And each one of these lines represents a relationship. If we look at this, we can say, okay, you know, this individual here is in the middle of a lot of other people. Uh, this individual here, these folks, those are key individuals that we might look at. For example, right now we are near the Maddie Road Center. Police say within a three block radius, they've identified 60 people they believe are part of a criminal social network. Of those 60 people, about two thirds of them have warrants out for their arrest, nine of which are felonies. And police believe six people could be related to gangs, five of whom are currently on parole or probation. I identify them on paper. And so then I know who is in the middle of all that. I can fragment that social network and it will reduce crime. And that's exactly what neighbors like Philip Perkins want. It'll make it a lot more peaceful. In Kansas City. Probably wouldn't have to have as much police or law enforcement here. Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.